what is going on my friends today's video is a juicy one your boy finally got a rufus's fury of his own and we are bringing you a role that is not using target lock but might just be better that's right you better believe it we're bringing something pretty spicy for today's video my friends so get ready to smash that like button and to subscribe if you enjoy the content so far we are well on the way to 200,000. i just want to say thank you guys so much so we've got moving target and paracausal affinity on our rufus's fury and this perk is really, really interesting. You might have passed over this one. Loads of energy types matching this weapon's alignment grant increased damage for a short period of time. So this is a strand weapon, so you need to be on strand or stasis to get the damage buff. It's a 20% damage buff for six seconds. This is really, really nasty. And you guys know I love strand. So, well, you know where I'm going with this. we go oh my goodness guys this is it this is special this is the banker this is the one this was the no-brainer this was the banker this was the one that couldn't fail this was one that's never failed that we are going to just absolutely be loving it a causal affinity is like rampage's bigger badder and better older brother it's just built differently my friends it is an absolute monster Speaking of monsters, he just sent a bunch of Threadlings after me. So we're going to send our own little spider fish to teach him a lesson. Do you think your Threadlings are tough? Unfortunately, here in the dark, all I've got is a slippery, steep bank. Well, say hello to this new species of spider fish. They are a real big, big problem, my friend. A big problem indeed. And they are just not going to be quite ready for the banter that is about to come their way today with the Rufus Fury and the spider fish in tow. And now we're going to take to the skies. An aerial ambush has begun. And I'm afraid our victim stands no chance. Something just launches itself at this and sort of wrenches on the rod. As the spiders drop from the sky like rainfall. It's quite an incredible sight. I'm sure you guys will all agree. Speaking of incredible sights, we caught another one on the line. Ooh, he shoots his arrow. We shoot him in the head. And now we are dead. Isn't going to stop us from flying in. Absolutely flying in like we like to do on Strand. Holy immortal. Oh my God, it's Salta Greppo. Public enemy number one. This man, Makarov, is fighting his own war and he has no rules, no boundaries. They do not like this man on Reddit. I think he's cool, though. He's a good lad. He's a good lad. We're going to be flying away from his immortal, though. I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that, lad. We're going to be floating up here and hoping that we're going to get a cheeky little shotgun kill. We are using the raid shotgun as well because it gives us some of the benefits of the origin trait, which gives you increased reload speed and handling if you're using more than one weapon on the set. So that's pretty nice. The roll on the shoddy, nothing special, but again, it's just kind of here for along for the ride. The main star of the show is, of course, Big Rufus. Big Rufus with a damage buff right now. Disgusting. We've got Paracausal Affinity and we've got Double Strand Surge. If we get an Orb of Light, things get pretty disgusting when that stacks with Paracausal Affinity. Paracausal Affinity is such an insanely good perk. Of course, the only thing that you need to worry about is that you need to be playing on either Strand or stasis to use this perk on this gun. Whoa, where the hell did he shoot? What? Okay, that was, I think someone lagged out. That was, that was a big lag spike right there. It's not gonna stop us from continuing to do some shredding with the paracausal beast though. This gun is just filthy, my friends. Honestly, I keep reloading after proccing the perk because it's doing about as much damage as kill clip. Ooh, ooh. There's nothing there. Ooh, ooh. Lovely jubbly. I like that little suspend at the end there. Caught one on the line. Sometimes guardian fish are like buses. You're waiting for one and two come at once. We got another one. Bit of a look at the, the business end of this. And that is a big mouth. We got another one. Now we've got woven mail. We've got a damage buff. It's all happening. This guy coming out of his spawns in big, big trouble. Man, this gun is so insane. How are you guys feeling about my theory that this might actually be the best roll? We've also got moving target as well, which honestly helps with my build having such low mobility these days. That increase to strafe speed is really, really nice. And now we're going to chase our dreams. We're going to fly in and absolutely destroy this. All right, listen, edit that one out, man. Boom, gone. Wipe their memory. They never saw it. Listen, that'll happen sometimes. If you don't buy the ticket, you don't win the raffle, as they say. But yeah, as I was saying, moving target is really, really good as well. You've basically got two options in each column for this gun, in my opinion, if you're going to craft it. You want to go for either moving target or perpetual motion in the first column, or you want to go for target lock or this perk that we have, paracausal affinity, and that is your role right there. That is, oh my... Bruh. You turn around and he's just charging the Jotun. You just know you're absolutely doomed. Ooh, we are smoked. We're doing 360s in smokes now. New techniques are developing. We've got Paracausal Affinity. So even when some Immortal Ian is running at us, if we have Paracausal Affinity active, 
they are screwed, mate. It's like a 0.6 second TTK. A bit similar to their TTK, I guess. But they're probably not expecting to get that from an auto rifle. What I, what I noticed is it's like an auto rifle tax. Where once players realize you're using an auto rifle, they will get, they'll start getting disrespectful, man. They will just run in there and expect to shred you. But if I've just got a kill and I've got paracausal affinity, then it's not such an easy kill for them. In fact, they might find themselves in a spot of bother. Speaking of finding yourself in a spot of bother, I just sliced his head in half like a melon. And uh, we did it twice for good measure. And now we're flying in. This guy's trying to escape. That's why I love the grapple sometimes when someone's trying to get out of dodge. You can just get right into the thick of things and say, you know what? What is going on over here, mates? We want to get involved. And that is what we did. We got absolutely involved. And right now we are involved in an all-out battle with many SMG Simons out here in these lobbies. But they don't stand too much of a chance. Just look at this. This gun is disgusting. This is definitely the auto rifle king at the moment. Rufus is fury, my friends. Definitely worth getting in the raid and getting your hands on one or two of these guns because it is just nasty. It is nasty. I wanted to say as well that it feels good even without the damage buff. That's the thing. It's got such a good sight. The recoil direction is pretty solid. The base stats overall are good. The hidden stats are even better. It's a good gun, man. It is a very good gun, even without paracordial affinity. Now we're going to go in for the advanced aerial strike. We're going to release the spider fish. With the bait out, the plan is to leave it lying on the bottom overnight. And they're currently hunting. And we got one. We got one on the line and now we are swiping in in full crab style, mate. Hidden crab jutsu. You know what I'm saying? They're not ready for this. They are not ready for this. It is just absolutely disgusting. Oh my God. We stole that kill. Got paracausal affinity. And now anyone who wants to find out what's going on is going to get 25s to the head. And let me tell you, that ain't too nice when you're on the receiving end. Such a beast of a gun, honestly. Absolutely the number one weapon in the raid, in my opinion. The number one reason to do the raid. How do you guys find a new raid? I honestly, as a PvE casual, ooh, we were too quick for him there. We were too fast, we were too quick. We moved quick for a big man. You know how they say it. <laughs> absolutely beautiful. But yeah, this is absolutely worth getting the raid. I enjoy the raid because it's so easy that I just get to run around being an idiot whilst everyone else does everything. And yeah, that suits me down to the ground in PvE. That's, that's just how I roll. And uh, we are currently rolling strong in this lobby with the big old Rufus. Big Rufus ain't taking any prisoners, let me tell you. And Rufus has got his little pets out now as well. His little pet spiders have come here to teach you a lesson. Speaking of teaching you a lesson, we're flying in like Tarzan. We've got the big crab claws out now. It's crab time. Full on crab brave right here. Green crab brave. Get your green crab glow sticks out and get them ready, mate because we are absolutely slicing and dicing in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, my friends. Rufus Fury, absolutely brilliant. Guys, do me a favor. Drop me a follow on my Instagram, DFP Shake. Check out the Discord as well. Both the links are down below in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love.